Ron Johnson, Republican candidate for the United States Senate, was speaking in Osceola, Wisconsin Thursday to share why he would like to be the next U.S. Senator from Wisconsin. The meeting was only about an hour long, but it gave the candidate's supporters the opportunity to meet and greet Ron and listen to his positions on the issues. What is right now, I think, what is the major impediment to growing our economy? In my mind, every day I see this, every day you see the news coming in, I'm more and more convinced this is what the problem is. First of all, it does start with spending and debt. That creates an incredibly high level of uncertainty. Several Dave Westlake supporters were left outside the building, not allowed entrance to the meeting because this event was by invitation only. Uh, we're here, we wanted to get in to talk to Ron Johnson, but we were uh, shut down at the door uh, because we didn't have an invitation. Westlake supporters have criticized Johnson's campaign for being unwilling to openly debate Westlake and have accused Johnson and the Wisconsin Republican Party of trying to minimize Westlake's campaign because he was not the chosen one. I wanted to come and ask Ron why he won't debate Dave Westlake. When asked about debating Westlake, Johnson had this to say. I think we've, I've already had been at a forum with, with us, with Dave, and, and we've been at other forums uh, uh, separately. So I, I think it's pretty clear in terms of where we stand on the issues. There's not a whole lot of difference. I'm focusing my attention on the primary goal. Johnson shocked many at the state convention when he was endorsed for the state Senate seat after only being in the race for a couple of weeks. Former Senate candidate Terrence Wall had publicly made accusations of possible misdeeds, but nothing ever came of them. Nonetheless, this leaves some Republicans wondering how Johnson, a millionaire businessman from Oshkosh, pulled off the endorsement, and if he was hand-picked by the GOP to run against Russ Feingold. We have had some difficulty with some party chairs um, not keeping his literature and information in their um, offices and actually discarding it. It's, uh, it's kind of a good old boy club. Um, they've even used the statement before that um, it's not their turn with other politicians, that people have paid their dues, so to speak, and it's their turn to run. Um, that's not what it's about. It's about what's best for the people and the, what's best for the country, not what's best for the party. I'm a conservative first, Republican second. With the primary only weeks away, the GOP endorsed candidate does have a significant advantage financially, but Dave Westlake supporters contend it ain't over yet. I'm Kirk Anderson reporting from Osceola, Wisconsin.